And Vivian here. Welcome to the studio, Creative Psyche Studio. It's been a minute since I've made one of these videos, tarot messages by signs. So come on in. Let's dive deep into June 2023. I'm going to pull cards for each sign. I'm going to pull tarot cards. I'm going to pull oracle cards. I got a brand new deck by a really cool guy, Dr. Stephen Farmer messages of the spirits of nature oracle so check out dr stephen farmer's podcast he also has a podcast on the same network where i have my podcast my podcast integrated mystic is on mindbodyspirit.fm this holistic spiritual practitioner has his podcast on mindbodyspirit.fm check it out i can't wait to break in his Beautiful Oracle deck. This is the first show I'm using it. And you and I will discover its magic and wisdom together. So yay, messages from the Spirits of Nature Oracle. Exciting. We're going to pull those cards, some Starseed Oracle cards, some Tarot cards. We are going to go through the signs. I'm going to do a collective reading to begin. So I, be I suggest that, by the way, if you're a subscriber, thank you for subscribing. Thank you for coming back. If you're new, welcome. I hope you like my video. If you like it, please give me a thumbs up. If you want to receive more videos, you know what to do. Subscribe. I'm planning on fluffing up and fluffing out and beefing up and beefing out this channel and expanding it. So I'm excited to uh, get back to making more videos and enjoying my pod podcast on here as well refocusing on this video this tarot message is by sign for june go go to your sun sign that'll give you a general energy report general messages for this month you can also go to your moon sign for messages about your emotional and relationship life this month you can go to your venus for more relationship information if you know your venus sign if you know your um various planets and various signs you can go to those different sign readings and get more of a specific reading for different life areas um if you if you know your chart a bit so i can't wait to get started let's start with a general reading for everyone for june oh my goddess things are happening people everything is rainbows and sunshine and no one is is fighting there's no tension just kidding it's, it's a whole wide world out there and there are rainbows and there is sunshine, but there's also, we live in a world of opposites and we are experiencing oppositional energy. So tuning into June, we're in the time of Gemini and soon it will switch over to the sun being in cancer. As I just tune into the energy of June here, I feel like a freedom, like we're, we're breaking free. A lot of us are, <clears throat> excuse me, are breaking free in some way, shape or form. We want to break free. We've got justice, page of swords, eight of swords in the sun. So we've got, speaking of opposition, we've got cards about restriction and we've got cards about freedom and we're balancing it all. Here's justice. So I feel like this month, <clears throat> you know, this is very Gemini. There's this and then there's this. Hello, Gemini where the duplicitous twins energy right now, we're swimming in it and I love it. I love that Gemini energy. So justice, I feel like justice is telling us for June, <clears throat> excuse me, I do probably need to make some tea at some point to clear my throat out for the rest of this video. Maybe we all need to clear our throat out. What is it that you need to say this month? What, what's this, the truth you need to speak? What, how do you need to express yourself? Gemini is very expressive. I feel like there's, there is the opportunity for more peace, actually, this month. There's the opportunity to create more peace and moderate, moderate two forces, reconcile two different things. Um, I feel like general energy we're able to make steps forwards as we, with negotiation, with relationships, with um, contracts or balancing something out, as we make some um, concessions, negotiate, maybe make some sacrifices, compromise. Page of Swords is the challenge for us. 
I feel like we need to be brave to speak our truth and balance that, of course, with wisdom about when it is best to speak, when it is best to hold our tongue and how best to say things. But I do feel like the challenge here is communication. That's what spirit is guiding us in general to focus on this month and to be practicing our self-worth as we're communicating. In other words, am I communicating what I need to, to advocate for myself? Am I communicating in a way that expresses respect for myself? Listen to the words that you're choosing. Do you say things like, I'm so stupid, or that was so stupid, I can't believe I did that, I'm such an idiot, or, oh, she's great, I'll never get there. That is communicating both to yourself and others in the universe that you're not very worthy. You are not a very respectable, valuable individual. And you know what? You are. You are. So you know that. Use your words in accordance. Instead of saying, oh my gosh, I'm so stupid, or, or even internally berating yourself, speak to yourself as you would to a child whom you love, to a friend whom you love. Well, that wasn't perfect, but you know, I believe in myself and I'm going to do better next time. Well, I made a mistake. Everybody does it. I'm going to say something funny and move on. But focus on speaking with self-compassion, speaking words of compassion about others as well. And do you need to express something? Maybe the expression is just in your private journal for your eyes only, but maybe there's something you need to get off your chest. Eight of Swords is our guidance card. It's a card of restriction. And as you can see, she's pretty tied up. So how can we untie those? How can we break free of our shackles? I feel like it's just that, that I'm feeling freedom and I'm feeling, I see trumpeters. I see, I see angels blowing trumpets. I see breaking free. I see the opportunity to break free and to experience liberation in a way we've never experienced before. And how do we do this? You need to see yourself through the eyes of spirit, through the eyes of God, through the eyes of the divine mother, father. And as you do this, you're able to see yourself and the world through this perspective and shift your energy. Are you seeing yourself in a narrow, restrictive way? Are you seeing the world? Are you small-minded in some way? Break out of the small-mindedness, open your mind, to new possibilities, see your own magnificence and see that reflected in how the universe opens up magnificently to you. The sun is our final results position card for June. Freedom, joy, health, abundance, love. This is a month where we are asked to let go of old ideas that are no longer serving us, old perspectives that are holding us back and to make this shift. I think there's a lot of opportunities and, and new expansive opportunities coming to us this month. And I think that there's, there's an openness and people are becoming more aware this month. There's an openness, um, a mental and beyond mental, just a consciousness openness. So break free, tune into what do you need to say and and express that and remember to speak words of compassion about others and yourself let's pull let's pull one messages from the spirits of nature oracle by stephen farmer what do we need to know spirits cave initiation yeah um i feel like we are going through an initiation this month and it's a transformation what is an initiation? We're, we're being, we're passing through a gateway. We're passing through a portal. The cave is a portal and we're being initiated into a higher level of consciousness. I feel like that is happening collectively. We have the opportunity to align with that collective opportunity that spirit is handing us. Let's move on to the first sign of the Zodiac. Aries, hi Aries. Tuning into you, Aries. Let's do my lovely 
airy aries i know you're not usually described as airy but the sun is in gemini right now which is an air sign so i'm calling you airy aries affectionately and lovingly i love aries aries what do you need to know what is spirit what does aries need to know for june 2023 well first message i hear is don't stop what you started keep something going you have some momentum with something and you're able to push through and even take it to the next level And I'm, I'm just seeing, you know, going out and being out with people, being out in nature um, helps you energetically and helps you, you balance your energy to be a little extroverted this month. Um, you know, allowing other people to admire you, to tune into that Aries confidence um, can help you can help you just rev up your engine you might be you might need a little pick me up this month so one of the ways to get a pick me up is to remember who values you and remember and recognize when you are getting um credit and validation from others and to give that to yourself and to remember you can always tune into your relationship with spirit and receive that so we'll pull some cards for you, Aries. The moon, two of swords, 10 of wands, and seven of wands. So we're ending with victory, victory over obstacles. Aries. Aries, I do feel like you need to slow down. The moon asks you to slow down, um, pace yourself, and tune into your inner feminine. If you are an Aries who's taken on too much, Recognize what you've overcommitted to and take measures to release that and balance your energy. I feel like Aries, you know, here in the Northern Hemisphere, it's spring. Aries wants to get out. Aries wants to, I feel like a, a desire for adventure and getting out to see and be seen a lot of Aries. Um, so there's another part of you that can help balance that out by, by slowing down and and you don't need to, you know, do everything at once. You can pace yourself if you have a lot that you want to do this month. Um, two of Swords is your your challenge card, Aries. Aries, there's something going on with you that you're weary of, and you feel like you might be at a stalemate with something, and it's it's really requiring you to um, let something go and to re restructure something in order to move forward. So I feel like with the challenge card, you're able to move through some stagnant energy or what might feel like an obstacle. I'm going to pull a clarity card for that one. I, I feel like it's, you're, you're asked to be, to move forward with something, but in a way you're, you're not used to. And so it's a little bit uncomfortable. I feel like, you know, the first message that I got was something is moving forward. It's like, don't give up on something. You've got momentum with something. So don't give up on something that's already got momentum in your life. So I feel like, um, one of the things that maybe can help you move forward is to understand maybe how you, um, how you can change something you're, you're dealing with in your life and move forward in a different way to be able to, to have that breakthrough. The tower came out. So breakthrough, um, insight, revelation, and big change, big change. 10 of wands is your guidance card, Aries. It's, I'm, I'm feeling with this card. Oh, it almost went to jump ship. I'm feeling with this card, Aries. It's like no to the grindstone. If you continue to move forward with faith and perseverance and keep your eye on the prize while making needed changes, letting go of what's no longer helping you, um, maybe coming up with a, a new variation on the plan, you will be able to achieve success this month. This is a, a card of success. And it's a success card, as you can see, it's, it's not an easy success card. It's a card of overcoming obstacles. You have to work a little bit to do it, but you can. And I feel like spirit is pointing out 
Aries, that you're going to find the help that you need. Oh, look what just popped out. You got the love. Hadarian energy codependency boundaries. So, so there's, there's love coming to you. There's also maybe some boundaries, things coming up and, you know, are you, um, is there something codependent going on with, you know, I'm over controlling or I'm people pleasing or I'm giving too much or, um, you know, victim mentality, or I'm, um, I'm not taking care of myself. So ask yourself, you know, about boundaries and relationships. If that's, if that's something here that needs a little bit of reflecting upon. Um, but I feel like you have the help, the help that is needed is available to you. And that's going to be a big part of what might help you move forward and overcome obstacles and achieve your success, whatever you're, you're focused on this month, Aries. Um, cloud imagination came out. Use your imagination to get out of maybe some old thinking patterns that are no longer serving you. See things from a bigger, expansive perspective. Look, look to the clouds and get guidance there. I'm going to pull one card for you for your love life, Aries. Oh, a bunch came out. Um, <clears throat> Aries, I feel like with relationships with you this month, remember you need some time by yourself. There's the hermit that came out. It helps you to clarify yourself and kind of recharge your batteries <clears throat> and helps you be better in relationships when that need is met. You really need to take care of yourself. Nine of Pentacles. Take care of yourself in order to be there for others and to move forward with your your goal. So this month, you know, make sure you have some me time and make sure you're doing things that make you feel good. Page of Wands. Yeah, so I feel like with Page of Wands, Aries, um, with relationships, you know, this is a sign. This is a card that could indicate a new relationship, some new energy in a relationship, some, some uh, passionate energy and messages regarding relationships. There's a lot of energy around you, I feel like. And so I feel like the Page of Wands is just nudging you to clarify your energy. And you, you might feel, it's funny because you have a lot of energy around you, but some areas might feel a little bit lonely this month or isolated. And so there's, there's um, progress that can be made with relationships by embracing the, the, the wisdom that you are not alone, that you are surrounded by love. And, and being sure to allow yourself to feel feelings. So are you resisting feelings? Accept your feelings and this can help you to move through whatever this disconnection feeling might be um, and feel more connected. Yeah, here we've got the hangman. Aries, I feel like you're pulling back and you're, um, you're assessing in relationships. And this could be a really helpful time to assess your role in relationships and assess what might help you moving forward, making some changes. And I'll pull one for your work finances. What does Aries need to know about work finances? Page of swords, messages. Writing could be really helpful for you with your professional goals and your financial goals this month, Aries. And I feel like it might help you to work with a team this month with someone else regarding your finances and regarding your career. Aries, I want to thank you so much for tuning in. Um, remember to take care of number one, assess possible changes that could be made 
to help you move forward with goals and remember to take some time to reflect and it's okay to connect with some difficult feelings that can, can help you actually to have breakthroughs is to just be to witness some of these difficult feelings write them down and that can help you process them as well write down your goals as well this can be very powerful for you this month so aries i hope you have a beautiful blessed june and i will see you next group video or session take care Let's continue with Taurus. Hi, Taurus. Tuning into Taurus. What do my Tauran friends need to know for June 2023? What do my Tauran friends need to know for June 2023? Okay, so tuning into your energy, Taurus. I'm going to pull general energy, guidance, relationships, and career. Taurus, what do, what do my Taurans need to know? It feels like a very social energy. That could be the Gemini energy. Going out with friends more, maybe. Yes, okay. We've got temperance, eight of pentacles, ten of wands and two of swords yes so taurus let gemini you know we've got these are these are very gemini cards feeling that gemini energy here so so taurus i feel like for june general energy um you're able to play a little bit more it's a playful energy and you're able to maybe soften some things that seemed harder. And what I mean by that is you may be able to see things from a different perspective and see more opportunities or more solutions to problems or, or things don't look as bleak. Things look more um, hopeful. And your guidance card is the eight of pentacles, a, an abundance card. So you might have some abundance and work opportunities coming to you, Taurus. I feel like sometimes, you know, you're prepared to work hard for what you want to achieve. There's a work hard card. So that's kind of um, re-emphasized here. Yeah, I feel like you're, you have maybe a goal in mind and you're going to work hard for it and you're going to make progress this month. A lot of Torrens keep your eye on the prize and you will make some progress. Um, I feel like Taurus, you're ready to get your hands dirty. You're ready to, to get to, to work. And you might also be learning. And I feel like a message that wants to come with this is don't be intimidated. If you don't know how to do something from the beginning or, you know, you're learning a new skill or you're trying to do something new and you don't understand all the ins and outs from the beginning, don't give up. It's a process. It's, it's a learning process. And this card came up for your career. And it's a card of, which is kind of echoing temperance, balancing two things. So it might be you know, patience is needed as you're learning a new work skill, as you're learning how to balance something new in your career or understand something, you might be reconciling two different things or balancing um, or unifying or something, two different things in your career. Have some patience. It, it's moving towards a positive direction. And, um, you know, my suggestion is take a step back. If you're feeling overwhelmed and you're feeling too all up in your head and, and stuck about something. And, you know, sometimes when we just let go, the answer comes to us. So take some breaks. Um, I'm going to, I feel like I need to pull uh, messages from spirits of nature or pull. Are you Taurus? Forest, diversity. It feels like a very diverse energy for you. It feels diverse. Yeah. So, so how can you diversify? How can you maybe um, spread things out? Maybe delegate, maybe understand something from a bigger picture, involve more people to move towards a solution, um, see some different opportunities consider different options you hadn't considered so your love life i'm going to pull a clarifying card is uh love life card for you taurus is the ten of wands 
And I feel like with your love life, Taurus, um, it may be that some control issues come up and you have the opportunity to negotiate control and how you relate to, relate to others for a better relationship dynamic. Ooh, we've got Ace of Pentacles. That's interesting that came up in your relationship. So I feel like with, with one at a time, one at a time, 10 of ones, I feel like is saying to you, Taurus, um, not to hold on so tightly. If you're over, over controlling or over clinging or over, um, you know, over depending on someone to give you a sense of worth, let that go. Are you um, maybe over worrying about something, um, feeling burdened in some way with, with relationships? To um, so, so let some of that go, I feel like surrendering to your higher power, maybe it's loneliness too that you're letting go of, but surrendering, you know, pessimism or um, control or um, letting go of the need to be right or letting go of just holding on too tightly to something. You know, if you truly love something, let it go. And if it really loves you, it comes back kind of, kind of thing. Um, and you might be taking on some stuff from other people that, that feels kind of heavy, but you've got Ace of Pentacles coming out for your clarifying card, Taurus, with your love life. Taurus, I feel like it's, it's like asking you to offer, you know, it's like this hand is coming out of the sky, offering abundance and nurturing and, and, um, earth energy and grounding and prosperity and, stability and pleasure. And I feel like spirit is guiding you this month to explore how you negotiate offering support in your relationships, how you, how you negotiate receiving it and to, um, to find a way to offer that support in an even more evolved way. So, um, improving your relationships and improving the kind of relationships that you attract and you can attract some very prosperous um, relationship experiences here by being sure to be aligned with yourself and what you are offering. Am I offering um, help support love with a lot of strings attached, which with a lot of expectations, with control, with a lot of shoulds, uh, with a lot of people pleasing. I need you to like me. I'm just doing this so you like me. Or I need you to do this. Why can't you just do this right? If you do this right, then I'll be okay. Those are not incredibly effective strategies and relationships. So letting go of that and offering, I'm offering this to you without attachment, love without attachment. I'm trusting that spirit brings me all the love I need. So I'm offering this to you freely. And I'm offering this to you with trust. And I'm offering this to you, respecting your own autonomy and respecting your own power and choices and respecting mine. I feel like I want to pull a starseed oracle for you, Taurus. Baby steps, action, follow your intuition before it makes sense. So trust your intuition in your relationships, Taurus. Trust your intuition and... And don't, don't overthink. And um, you have abundance coming to you. I feel like you have some, um, some prosperity opportunities this month, and it might be through relationships where you're negotiating. Ooh, we've got victory card, six of wands coming out. You can have some victories this month, um, working with others, negotiating how you're giving and receiving and really giving from that, that um, pure place from the heart and with trust in the universe and spirit in yourself. And, you know, if you give something from the heart, you're putting that energy out. And even if you don't get that exact thing that you want back from that person that you're giving it to, the universe is going to respond because of the vibration that you're offering. You're offering a pure vibration and love with freedom. And so you're going to re, uh, receive and be offered that pure vibration. So don't worry about it if it doesn't come in exactly the package that you're um, wanting. Let go and trust that the love that you're giving, you will receive in kind. 
and you will, you will. Um, so yeah, abundance opportunities, you know, keep your eye on the prize, balance and negotiate, um, unifying two different components here. And thank you so much for tuning in, Taurus. I hope you have a fantastic June. I'll see you next group video or session. Blessings. Gemini, Gemini is your time. The sun is in Gemini, Gemini, Gemma twins. Yeah. Hi, Gemini. Thank you so much for tuning in. Tuning into your energy now. What does Gemini need to know? What do my Gemini tuners, inners need to know? Spirit for June, 2023. Feel like you might be getting more grounded, Gemini. Gemini, I see you looking into the future. My eyes itching as I'm saying that. You're seeing the future and you're seeing possibilities. You might have a little bit of um, uncertainty about moving forward, but I see you projecting yourself into the future. You've got a strong imagination, uh, mental ability this month that can be very powerful. Okay. Wow. Some powerful cards, some powerful cards. I've got the tower. I got six of wands. I've got the page of wands. I've got the queen of pentacles, pentacles, excuse me, the tower, your general energy card. Wow. Um, perhaps some sudden changes, some sudden revelations, gems. Gemini, I feel like a lot of Gemini are willing to make some changes, but you're not quite sure what or how, but you're realizing the sense, you sense like you maybe need to make some changes. Um, it's the feeling of your general energy. Um, you're willing to break with something. You're be, like, I think some Gemini are considering breaking with something. This could be a habit. This could be a person. This could be a job. This could be um, a, a belief system. But I feel like there's some, some different, maybe some Geminis are thinking about it. Some are closer to actually taking action. Um, maybe something has happened that is creating the feeling of forced opportunity. But I feel like this is powerful in a positive way because um, you, you're, you, it's like you're, you're right at the gate. You're right at the gate to that next level and you're about to walk through it. And what's going to help you walk through it? We've got six of wands here. This is a card of victory. What's going to help you walk through it and have that victory? I think you just need to get in alignment with yourself as part of it, Gemini. Get behind yourself in a decision and be clarified. Clarify for yourself um, what it is you really want. And, you know, maybe you need to work through some, some inner parts that are resistant, um, some confusion or, or indecisiveness in order to arrive at that decision. And it feels like this parenting energy, like um, you are your own parent and tuning into your own parent. You might be receiving some parenting mentorship that would be helpful this month from an actual literal parent or someone who kind of acts as a parent in your life. The seven sisters, seven star sisters, birth and creations, tapestry of life expression. It's a very creative month for you, Gemini. Break out of old patterns by tapping into your creativity. And this can help you have some insights and work through um, what the challenges are to making the changes that you wanna make. But you can and will have a breakthrough this month to achieve a victory. This is the guidance card. And I feel like you're just, you're, you're shifting into a higher realm here. You're working on a different level here. You have the opportunity, opportunity to. Page of Wands for your relationships. This is, this is sexy passionate car for relationships. All right, Gemini. All right. This could be starting a new relationship. It could be some new passionate romantic energy in your current relationships. You might, it might even be making a new friendship. It doesn't have to be sexual, but just a new interesting, inspiring friend. You might have some new inspiring energy in your relationships this month, Gemini. 
So, yeah, I feel like the Page of Wands is saying to you, Gemini, it's, it's just like this, this flirty energy. Um, it helps you to achieve your goals, to talk to other people, to relate to other people. It helps you to clarify yourself, to not only be creative, but to talk to other people. And this is a card of messages and communication. As you communicate with others, it can help you move through whatever this is. It can help you to um, actually clarify other areas of life and to help your confidence, I feel like, as well. Gemini, so, so that page of one energy is, is guiding you to break free and, and experience some freedom in your relationships as well. Um, are you stuck in a rut? Are you feeling like you need a little bit more inspiration and passion and fire? The page of wands is here for you and guiding you and helping you. Um, spirit is offering you that energy to switch things up, to uh, make sure that you have a balance of freedom and togetherness. And if you need a little bit more freedom to make changes to create that, and you can do that, you know, it doesn't have to be a breakup, although it might be, um, but you don't have to stay doing the exact same thing. You can change your perspective. You can change how you respond. You can negotiate to um, create more of this space for freedom, the space for um, this new energy and inspiration that wants to come through. And, and I feel like also a message that wants to come through is, you know, don't, um, allow yourself to care too much what other people think. Let go of that if that's if that's you, my friend. Your career card, work and career, Queen of Pentacles, abundance. You have like so many success abundance cards. Oh my gosh. So this could be you. This could be someone in your life that's important to you, Queen of Pentacles. The general energy is abundance, pleasure, security. This is kind of like the minor arcana of the Empress in a way. So so with your career, um, you might have some, some opportunities coming to you. I feel like there's a lot of thinking and planning in career, and you have the opportunity to do more planning. It, the Queen of Pentacles, the Pentacles are planning cards. Um, they're very practical. So I feel like the Queen is helping you to come up with a plan to achieve your goals and just be, you know, take some practical steps this month. And, um, and just make sure that you feel uh, grounded and nurtured in your career. Judgment came out. You've got some decisions to make, perhaps, in your career. Um, you might be coming up for a, um, what is it called, an assessment or, you know, a, a thingy where they, where they judge you. <laughs> um, a review or, you know, an annual review or something like that. Um, but you also might be making some decisions um, in your career. And I feel like a lot of Gemini have the opportunity to move forward in your career. Um, and I feel like it's around, you know, make sure that you're, you're tuning your own horn, <laughs> that you're advocating for yourself, that you're, you're speaking about and communicating your accomplishments and your skills. And I feel like it's also about coming up with a plan back to that vision, seeing you visioning in the future. This can be really powerful for you this month to use that amazing imagination and, and um, creative imagination, your, your mental, analytical um, mental skills to create a plan moving forward, take actual action steps. Um, and I feel like um, this, can, this can help you to really achieve some success that you want in your career. You might be um, receiving a job uh, promotion or opportunity with that queen of pentacles and judgment. Um, we've got rice. Nourishment came out. What nourishes you is a question to ask in your career. It's important for you to feel nourished. Cicada or cicada, depending on if you're pronouncing it right or wrong. And I don't know if I am. I'm going to say cicada. Um, I think I'm saying it wrong. Uh, voice. They make this beautiful noise. Voice is coming up again. Are you speaking about yourself? And this was a general theme this month for the general energy. Are you speaking about yourself with respect? Are you speaking about your worth? Are you speaking about and recognizing 
your skills and what you've contributed. Make sure that you're, you're um, talking compassionately and talking um, in a, in a, with words of appreciation about yourself regarding your career. That can be very powerful for manifesting just metaphysically what you're putting out with the vibration of your words and the energy behind them comes back to you, but also what you're saying to others is going to make an impression, I think, Gemini. And um, your, your words are very powerful this month. So be careful what words you're choosing as you speak them aloud. In summation, you have new victory energy, um, fire energy, passion, imagination, abundance coming to you. Be careful the words you choose. You can manifest amazing things. You have opportunities to step through a gateway and move to the next level um, in your career, in your relationships, in finances. And do remember to, um, to connect with other people as a way to connect with that um, insight and your creativity. Gemini, my lovely gems, thank you so much for tuning in. I hope you have a beautiful, beautiful, nourishing, creative June. And I can't wait to see you next video or session. Thanks for tuning in. Hello, Cancer. Hello, moon children. And I'm not a child. I'm a moon adult. Okay. Hello, moon adult. I don't think that sounds as good, but that's what you want me to call you. Hello, moon adult. Hello, Cancer. Tuning into you. What does Cancer need to know? Sign of the moon. What does Cancer need to know for June 2023? We'll pull a general card, a guy's card, relationship card, and a work finance card. Turning into your energy, Cancer. Well, I'm feeling an easygoing energy around you. I'm feeling like there's a certain amount of lightening up that you might be experiencing, um, that you might, in some area of your life, just be able to be a little bit more easygoing, let things go, kind of... Um, ability it's kind of a gemini vibe what does cancer need to know these cards for cancer for june 2021 okay we've got the king of wands the page of pentacles the empress and the six of cups <clears throat> so yeah um your general energy king of wands and i was feeling kind of a solar fire energy with you as well so here comes the the king of fire, the king of wands. So general energy around you, Cancer. Um, I think you're taking some things more seriously, but able to let some other things go. And it's a time when you're contemplating a lot of action, actually. Um, and I feel like, you know, some moon children, moon adults out there are tired of being told what to do or feeling like you're forced to conform or follow someone else's instructions in some way. And there's a desire for more freedom <clears throat> and you have the ability to um, stand up for more of your freedom, to advocate for yourself and to create more freedom and, and self-initiative in your life. Page of Pentacles is your guidance and that's your guidance for June, Cancer. Well, I feel like there's, it's focus. You know, this is a, this is a study card. This is a focus card. I feel like there's, there's some focus that could help you to achieve some of the new things that you want to achieve. Maybe you want to have more, <clears throat> excuse me, leadership or freedom or adventure in your life. And focusing is something that could really help you to manifest what you want to manifest this month. So if you feel scattered, if you feel like you're not sure what step to take or what to focus on, Page of Pentacles guides you to make a list to reflect on 
what's, what are your priorities and to take baby steps to focus on only one thing at a time so that you can best organize your energy. And it does mean, I, I feel like your challenge this month, Cancer, is disengaging your focus from some things and re-engaging your focus on some other things. So prioritizing. You can't, you can't make progress on everything all at once. And sometimes you need to put some things, you need to table them, put them on the back burner so that you can use your energy to uh, direct it in a more intentional, focused way, and then make progress on certain things at certain times. So it's really reorganizing what you're prioritizing and focusing on. The Empress is coming up in your relationships. All right, Cancer. And Empress, yeah, I feel like I, I want to pull a clarifying card for that. That is a very relationshipy card, nurturing, mothering, love, pleasure, comfort. And I think that's that easygoing vibe I was feeling with you. There's a certain amount of things are flowing in, in an easy way um, in, in June for you. So the Empress is accompanied by here. Yeah, I was feeling sun. I was feeling a solar energy. And here comes sun from the Stephen Farmer Oracle, Nature Oracle, sun, faith. So you've got some solar energy here you're working with. And that has to do with confidence. That has to do with energy. It has to do with optimism and passion. The Empress is coming up with your relationships, Cancer. So when I'm tuning into the Empress energy for you, Cancer, I feel like you're actually able to influence more people. I feel like you are naturally mothering and nurturing, most Cancers. Um, but I feel like you're expanding in your ability to nurture others. I feel like um, you have the ability to... Um, connect with a larger group of people to influence a larger group of people. We've got Knight of Wands coming in. This might be a new relationship. This might be some more adventure in your love life or in friendships or family. But I feel like the, the um, there's an expansion here. There's a newness here. So I feel like the Empress is guiding you, Cancer, to allow people into your space and into your life and to, to clarify also what you want in relationships so that as you're expanding your circles, you're, you're also clarifying and using discernment um, who you really want to keep close to you and what the nature of relationships are. You might be making some new connections and you know, you're allowed to decide how you want to define new connections, you know, maybe what at the beginning was seemed to be romantic turns out to be more of a friendship or vice versa I feel like you're you know you're not able you're able to not take things so seriously and so there's just more of um as you're able to let go be neutral yet compassionate um you're able to let go of maybe um some patterns that didn't work for you and just enjoy yourself more. And, you know, I, I feel like part of it is observing as you're meeting new people or as you're perhaps having more connections um, available to you to just be observant instead of, you know, jumping in from the beginning, observe someone and observe a new person in your life and pay attention to how your intuition is feeling as you get to know someone. For your career, finances, I got the six of cups for you, Cancer. So Cancer, for your career, you could be, it's like you're, some Cancers are getting back to basics. You're returning to some harmony here. Um, there may be some relationship aspects to work that are important. I feel like some Cancers are pretty driven this month. You're driven and goal-oriented but something that could really help in your career and finances is to tend to your garden. So tend to your work relationships, 
tend to the relationships around you and in your network. And this could really help you move forward with work and financial goals. And you do have the opportunity if there has been some um, tension in work or finances, you do have the, the opportunity to return to some balance in June. Yeah, and you've got some opportunities coming. You might have uh, travel opportunities for work. You have things beginning to come, come back to you. You have some, some success um, beginning to show here and you might have actual, um, some cancers might have actual job opportunities coming to you. Um, so I feel like, yeah, with your career, um, this is a good time for expansion, pay attention. It's great time for networking and those relationships can really help you to, um, maybe break through some barriers. And I feel like part of this is, you know, in your relationships too, in your love life too, staying grounded. It feels like an expansive energy around you, Cancer. So stay grounded as you're meeting new people in your personal life or connecting with more people potentially in your personal life. Stay grounded and in your, in your professional life as well. Stay grounded as things are expanding and this can help you to keep the harmony to even return to harmony and um, it can help you to make better decisions that you're happier with. But I think you do have some opportunities for nurturing more others this month, for feeling more nurtured, for refining your role with people, for expanding your business and returning to some, um, some balance in your business for focusing and some financial opportunities here, increased confidence. Fall into my arms is the star seed oracle surrender, holding the opposites extremes of life. Cancer, I wanna thank you so much for tuning in. I hope you have a beautiful blessed June and I will see you next group video or session, take care. Hello, Leo. Hi, Leo. Thanks so much for tuning in. We are tuning in to my lion friends, Rar, and tuning into what are the messages, Spirit, what are the messages for Leo? What does Leo need to know for June 2023? Well, I'm definitely feeling high, finances are highlighted. And, and justice, wanting to maybe social justice or just wanting to balance things in your life to create a sense of harmony and balance. What does Leo need to know for June, 2023? Ooh, there's the finances. We've got 10 of pentacles, four of wands, the moon and death. We're starting with an abundance card is your general energy. Yeah, so financial abundance with the Ten of Pentacles, Leo. I feel like the message that's come, that wants to come through is take action now and things really do come through. You're able to manifest a lot in the next couple of months. Taking action in June um, is very fertile for you. And you'll be able to see this, those um, seeds grow in the spring and the summer. And it's almost like you don't need to take a lot of action. Just taking some action, you really reap the benefits um, pretty quickly. And I feel like the message is taking up, taking advantage of opportunities that are around you. It's a juicy time for that. So don't let opportunities pass you by. And to even taking baby steps can really pay off. The energy is moving fast for you. Four of Wands is your um, guidance card for June. Leo. And I feel like it's coming back to that justice energy. I feel like, you know, there's the four here. And I feel like this four is speaking to me about taking a stand, not caring so much what other people think, standing for what you believe in and letting go if other people don't agree with you or believe you, but standing in your power and um, advocating for yourself, for others, for, for what you believe in. And this is going to bring you joy and it's going to bring you satisfaction. This also might be some vacations some Leos are taking. It's a card of celebration and vacation. And I feel like you have the opportunity to leave some things behind. Leave, just leave it behind. If, if you know, someone is thinking in a small-minded way or 
you're not able to convince someone of your rightness, let them, let them be right in their opinion and let it go. And you will be experiencing more happiness and freedom as you do so. And, you know, instead of people pleasing and changing, changing who I am and what I'm doing to please you and sacrifice over sacrificing myself or trying to control you um, and dominate you. Those are both approaches that tend not to work. I'm going to be myself. I'm going to allow you to be yourself, allow you to have your freedom of choice and respect my freedom of choice. And as I'm letting go of, even if it's disrespect, I'm not going to internalize that. I'm not going to let that knock me over. I just stood in my power and I created my reality how I wanted to. The moon is your relationship card. So pay attention to your intuition this month, Leo, in your relationships. There may be some things unsaid for some Leos. Um, there may be some secrets. There may be some shadows, things, things um, that are underneath the surface. Perhaps. So I feel like the moon is guiding you, Leo, um, to allow people to go through their own process. And again, it, it feels like a letting go card. So you might be sensing something about someone. You might have an intuition. You might kind of even feel like, I know what's going on with this person. And the moon is just guiding you to honor your intuition and you may or may not want to take action on it, but I feel there is a certain amount of patience that spirit is guiding you in your relationships to, um, to be patient and you don't actually have to know everything or resolve everything right now. You can kind of um, allow some things to be mysteries and um, underneath the surface and have patience that they will come up at the right time. And here's release. So, so there's a release that's, that's coming in your relationships. And I feel like spirit is guiding you, you know, don't push it, don't force it. And in order to prevent a destructive volcano release, um, to be patient and trust that there's a certain process happening. And I feel like there's just this feeling of like guardedness, perhaps in relationships, you're guarded, other people are guarded. Um, there's, there's some unresolved things happening. So I feel like spirit is guiding you to allow people to have their way without judging, allow people to, um, go through their process, even if it's uncomfortable, maybe someone's angry, maybe someone's passive, maybe someone's doing something that annoys you. And as you just accept that, <coughs> excuse me, that's their way. Um, it helps to align with the natural process that's happening. I pulled the King of Pentacles for you, Leo. So I feel like the King of Pentacles is saying for your relationships to, to be really grounded and be stable, be the grounded, stable person and to, um, to, to disengage from if there's, you know, this kind of thing happening around you, disengage from that volcano and, um, disengage from anything, you know, controlling or um, codependent. And I feel like that's going to help you to surrender to the sweetness. Here's your starseed oracle, Venus energy, pleasure, joy, make love to life. So that's waiting behind the surface. That's waiting behind you is some sensual energy, some Venus energy, pleasure, joy, 
So you've got both of those here. Here's the ten of ten of cups. This is domestic joy. So so as as you can allow this process to happen, be grounded, allow people to experience their feelings without having to control them or fix it, but being compassionate. And then behind that, you know, something beautiful is naturally unfolding and transforming in your relationships. Your finances and work, I pulled the death card, change, transformation for Leo. What are you saying death for my Leo friends? Well, I feel like there's an ending to a cycle here and spirit is guiding you to just, oh, and here, can't make this stuff up. I'm dropping all sorts of cards today, y'all. The world um, just came out for your career. So this is an ending and beginning. So you're ending a cycle and preparing to begin a new cycle. Excuse me while I get some cards. I'm only getting some of them because Drop like half of another deck over on the left side. Anyway, so um, focusing up, focus people. There's an ending and beginning happening with your finances, happening with, with your career. So spirit is guiding you to kind of wrap some things up, organize yourself and, and try and help to, you know, distill to the essence what you want to take with you and um, release what you don't want to take with you, preparing for this next cycle. And it's going to be even bigger and better, Leo. You're going to have, you know, better things coming as you wrap up this cycle and prepare for the next. And, you know, there might be some Leos who are feeling some ways about moving on to the next stage and, um, Maybe it's hard to let go. It's hard to leave others behind. So um, if you're wrapping up something that involves you, you know, um, saying goodbye, try and let go of that guilt and let go of, um, you know, any, any unhelpful thoughts or beliefs um, as you're, as you're exiting that stage. It's, it's natural to feel, you know, these feelings as we're ending a cycle, but um, avoid, you know, taking on guilt, um, feeding feelings of guilt when it's not appropriate and it's not, it doesn't make sense. The seas of Mintaka, seeing potential, bringing unconscious to light. So there's some new potential that you're bringing out. They have the opportunity to bring out in your career and your finances. And you have like, you know, worlds opening to you, Leo. It's new. You've got definitely got an abundance um, card leading off of here. So you've definitely got some opportunities um, available to you. And, you know, five of swords, leave behind if there's any kind of drama or, you know, um, any kind of lower vibrational feelings or patterns or behaviors, um, you know, gossip or over comparing or over criticizing or um, jealousy, all these little petty things that you want to move away from, ground yourself and, um, and you know, rise above that because you are above it. And don't take it personally if those around you are having some of that go on. Um, disconnect from, from that and move on to this um, next cycle as you're wrapping up this last one. Um, and there may be some, you know, grieving here. So you are in a time of change. It's exciting. Leo, thank you so much for tuning in, my friend. I hope you have a beautiful, blessed June. And remember to take those small steps to, to pay attention to opportunities as they come. Listen to your intuition. Be patient in relationships and grounded. And um, wrap up, tie up loose ends as you're perhaps ending one cycle and beginning another, open yourself to those new opportunities. Yay. Thank you so much, Leo, for tuning in. Have a great June. See you in the next group video or session. Help if I had my camera on. Hello. Let's continue with Virgo. Hello, Virgo. Thank you for tuning in. Tuning into your energy for the month of June, 2023. Virgo, I feel like you have some momentum. You have some momentum going with ideas and projects. And 
I feel like some Virgos are excited to continue with this momentum and, and move things forward. Um, you may have been studying something or getting some mentorship and some Virgos have been, been able to use the help and advice from others. I feel like um, it's just general vibe for some Virgos out there. So yes, yeah, so you've got some momentum with some projects. Um, I'm going to pull four cards for Virgo for June 2023. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. We've got Ace of Swords, Two of Cups, Seven of Wands, and Four of Pentacles. I'm trying to make a little bit more space. Organization is my growing edge. Here we go. All right, people. All right, so, so Virgo, you've got some ideas. You've got some really good ideas. Um, general energy, You're, you've got victory. You have attainment of goals. Um, you're having some innovative thoughts and your mind power is strong and that's general energy around you, Virgo. And just be careful with this, with the need to be right. Let go of some perfectionism or the need to be right and allow yourself to be curious, explore, experiment. That's you know, part of the perfection is the, is the process of understanding. So allow yourself to be curious and open. We've got the two of cups for your guidance card, Virgo. I feel like, you know, something that can be really helpful this month is paying attention to relationships and being receptive, being in the receptive mode. That's kind of what I was picking up here is you've got these amazing ideas, Virgo, but be receptive to the um, ideas and perspectives of others that could help enhance your plans and goals and ideas. Um, allow yourself to be open, allow yourself to connect with others as a way to think outside the box. So there's also maybe an emphasis on relationships for some Virgos this month. And I feel like the other part of the two of cups to speaking to you, Virgo, is being aware of yourself more in relationships, being more conscientious of how you affect others, how others affect you. And, and I think you can improve some relationships, maybe even being some healing, uh, giving or receiving some kind of healing support um, as, you're, as you're more sensitive to um, how your thoughts, words, action, energy um, affect others and how they affect you. Pulled a star seed card. Longing for home, homesick for the stars. So, so grounding yourself and being aware of yourself and grounding yourself in your own identity can be helpful. Understanding how my identity may be different from others and how I can enhance my understanding of who I am by connecting with others and understanding their process. Just being curious. Being curious is a quality of spirit. Seven of Wands is for your relationships over here, Virgo. So yeah, I'm gonna pull, I'm gonna pull one of Stephen Farmer's cards. Seven of Wands for your relationships. I feel like you might some Virgos might be feeling a little bit defensive in June. You might be feeling a little bit on guard forest diversity yeah there's there's a repeated message here that it helps you to open yourself to other people's perspectives um and just open your mind look at maybe things from a different perspective or consider something you hadn't considered um and in relationships that's going to help you create more harmony i believe but you've got a seven of of wands coming up here for your relationships and this is a card of overcoming obstacles of victory but there's sort of like this implication of fighting or having to, you know, work through an obstacle. This person, you know, he's in a position of power. It looks like he's fighting some people, but he's in a position of power and the implication 
traditionally for this image is he is going to probably overcome it. So you're over, you're going to overcome challenges, Virgo, that are coming up. If you have some challenges coming up in your relationships, you might feel a little bit, um, you know, wondering if, if people are criticizing you or judging you, or you might feel defensive. Um, and is that you? So if that's you, I'm going to pull a clarifying card. Please know that you are worthy. You don't need to be defensive. You can get to some higher ground this month and I feel like you're able to understand an interaction better um, when you're not taking things personally and just observing and being curious. You've got seven of cups, so you've got a double seven here. Seven is about information. It's about knowledge. It's about wisdom. It's about intuition. Gather information. Pay attention to your intuition. Look at things that are happening in your relationships from an intuitive big picture perspective. See things with your imagination. So don't just go to the defensiveness and battle mode and taking things personally and you're wrong and I'm right or how dare you and you're all out you know against me or something like that. Back it up and look at the big picture. How did I create this? I'm creating my reality, right? How did I create this situation? What was my role in creating this? And also what's really not about me. I'm experiencing something perhaps to learn and grow. That's a mirror for my own consciousness and everybody is projecting their own consciousness. So everybody's creating their own reality. So don't take it personally. It's not a reflection of your worth, but it might be a growing opportunity. Um, if you can see some sort of, you know, bigger dynamics here or, understand someone else in a different way that can help you um, better function in relationships. And I feel like that's the silver lining here is um, you're going to see more opportunities and more power, uh, more choices you have. You understand more how to create more of the relationships that you want as you kind of look at maybe some dynamics that are happening in June, Virgo. So don't, don't, don't be like this, you know, lady with her, <laughs> with a blanket covering her head. Don't be in denial, right? Take the sheet off, take the blinders off, take, take that obstacle um, from your vision and see clearly what's happening and with self-compassion and compassion for others. So um, as you can do that, uh, I think that, you know, you will enhance relationships and you might be able to deepen some relationships or start some new ones, taking the, um, taking the, the lessons that you learn here. And remember, everybody's different. So if someone's different than you, don't take that personally. Uh, be curious about how someone's different. Understand that you are in a very powerful place to create your reality and create beautiful relationships. And Everybody doesn't need to think like you in order to do that. Four of Pentacles is for your finances, work, career. Yeah, so Virgo, working hard as usual, right? Um, I think a lot of Virgos are pedal to the metal. Um, I feel like some Virgos are inclined to, this is a card of holding on. So I feel like some Virgos are thinking about what they want to hold on to financially, what they want to give, what they want to invest in. So I feel like the guidance here is to, yes, um, explore what you can invest in conservatively. Explore what you can uh, put money towards, money time energy towards that might be really helpful to you and your goals, but also pragmatic, you know, pragmatic saving, I feel like as well for Virgos and, and, you know, calculated risks. Don't, um, this card is guiding you. Don't, don't go overboard. Um, so I also pulled cracked open rock bottom surrender to the alchemy of life. Yeah, so it's really this theme of like opening your mind. You're going to have opportunities to really open your mind this month, Virgo, to see things from a different perspective. And it's going to help you understand how to uh, make some changes 
that you want to make with finances and work and maybe trying something really new, trying something, you know, you're going to have some great ideas this month, trying something new in relationships and the groups that you're in. Um, there's, there's a leadership card, imagination, intuition, and leadership. So you're taking action and you're tuning into your um, natural ability to organize and lead. So Virgo, those were your cards for this month. Thank you so much for tuning in and I will see you next group video session. Take care. Libra, what's up Libra? Thank you for tuning in my friend. Pull some cards now, just tuning into Libra's energy. What does Libra need to know for June, 2023? What do my erroneous Libras need to know? June, 2023. Well, just tuning into your energy. I think some Libras just want to kind of break out of something like break out of, break out of a rut or a shell or conformity or um, what's, what's feeling constraining and just just desire to break free. And I feel like there are, there's a lot of like social interaction around some of you Libras and you're not quite sure how to respond maybe to different social situations and opportunities and invitations. We've got nine of cups, ace of pentacles, Eight of Swords and Three of Cups. All right, Libra. Yes. So, and here's here's that desire to break free, and this is in your relationship area. The Eight of Eight of Swords. So you're wanting to break out of something. Break out of oh, Eight of Eight of Swords. Or eight of Swords even is showing me by jumping ship how much freedom. Eight of Swords is wanting for you. So, so you're wanting to just break out of these shackles and chains and, and bondages and uh, bondage and, and ties and um, all that binds you. And you're wanting to, I mean, look at these, you know, just get a little crazy, get a little, have some fun, just be joyful. So Nine of Cups is coming general energy for you, Libra. I think a lot of Libras are going to be the life of the party in June. You are experiencing some wishes fulfilled. You're experiencing um, some good times socially, having fun. Be careful not to overindulge. I feel like the Nine of Cups is really saying to you, Libra, as well. It's, it's good to just take some time to uh, break free and allow yourself to just let your hair down and just enjoy yourself without an agenda um, to find a way to just be fun and be free and, and um, move away from maybe the analytical mind or the plans or the expectations. You have the opportunity this month. Ace of Pentacles is coming up as your guidance card. Nice abundance, spirituality, grounding, um, nurturing. And I feel like the Ace of Pentacles is guiding you to, you know, really find what grounds you, what helps you to feel secure, what helps you to feel, what helps you to feel abundant and taken care of and to take more action to bring that into your life. That's very important for you, Libra. I feel like that you're going to be wanted by several people this month and it could be relationship it could be um romantic friendship it could be in your career but it feels like there's a social invitation like this hand is reaching out and wanting to reach out to you i feel like a lot of libras are going to have opportunities to connect with people and you know it's it's finding who's a good fit what's a good fit as you're exploring different um social opportunities and some of these opportunities may involve money but i think just socially you've got some opportunities here so this is coming up in relationships eight of swords i feel like some libras are feeling a little bit like stuck or in a rut or conformed or um you're not quite in sync with the people around you 
um, maybe feeling a little bit um, restricted in some way. So the, the eight of, and I'm going to pull a clarifying card, y'all. The, the eight of swords is guiding you to, it's really, you know, being yourself, being authentic is going to help you break out of this. And finding a way to be more authentic around people. You don't mean to, you don't need to change yourself to please people is the message that, that I want to um, say to you. And there's liberation in being true and honest and authentic. And, and here's the, um, the four of wands. You might be having a lot of parties. We've got like three party cards, nine of cups, three of cups, the four of wands. These are all party cards. Uh, you might be having some get together, some fun, fun times, some Libras. So, so with the four of wands, you know, it's again, grounding as well. I feel like in your social life, it's, it's good to just, you know, shift gears and not be so serious. If you've been too serious Libra and just receive and have fun and, um, allow yourself to experience that part of life. I want to pull a Stephen Farmer card for you. Ooh, desert thirst. What, what are you thirsty for? What's going to nurture you? That's the question I have for you. That's a good question to ask yourself to increase your nurturance this month, Libra. Three of Cups is coming up in your um, finances, work, career. And I feel like for a lot of Libras, you're going to have um, opportunities for social networking, oper like career, financial opportunities coming socially that you might meet people and talk with people and um, have more opportunities to work with people as a way to make money. And some people will be working as a part of a group, some Libras. There also might be a coming back together for some Libras, I want to say, like uh, re reestablishment of harmony or a reconnection with someone in your career um, work area. Um, and it's and it's a good reconnection for a lot of Libras. Um, lost lands, soul memories and gifts. You've done this before. So you might be reconnecting with someone you've worked with in a past life or this life, but it's this like, um, uh, for some Libras, I think it might even be, you know, connecting with someone on a soul level, reconnecting with someone. But there's there's this sense of reconnecting with someone um, or some people, and that, that could be really positive for you in your career. Um, so yeah, those were your cards, Libra. Liberate yourself by being authentic and allowing yourself to just have fun without having to get anything done, without having to uh, people please, right? Uh, pay attention to some different opportunities, social invitations and professional invitations coming to you. And yeah, and, and you know, as you're deciding what to accept and what not to accept, um, ask yourself what feeds my soul, what nurtures me, what would quench my thirst, and what seems exciting and interesting to me. Um, not just what, you know, don't just make decisions about what you think you should do, but, but listen to your heart and listen to what's, what's uh, sparking your interest. So I hope you have a beautiful June. Libra, thank you so much for tuning in. I'll see you next group video or session. Hello, Scorpio, tuning in to my beautiful Phoenix, serpent, snake, eagle, scorpions. Hi, Scorpio. Turning into your energy for June 2023. I just see this image of you standing up high or flying up high. It's like a really high perspective, an eagle perspective. Um, you're, you're seeing the bigger picture here. And you have the ability to have broad vision, foresightful, um, very in, insightful, deep, broad vision. And I feel like a lot of Scorpios are actually focusing on finances. You want to, 
you are, I mean, aren't we all, you want to get some financial things moving here. I feel like a lot of Scorpios. So what does Scorpio need to know for June, 2023? All right. Eight of Pentacles, the um, Knight of Swords, the World Two of Swords. Yeah. So here's the financial focus. Here's the financial focus. Focusing on work, finances, um, a lot of Scorpios are zeroing in. And you, this is an abundance card. You have the opportunity to make some um, manifest some abundance and financial expansion in your life, Scorpio. I feel like a lot of Scorpios are honing in on your skills too. You're focused on maybe honing in on a financial plan, honing in on a work or financial plan that's going to help you to get it right. You really want to get it right, to hone your skills, to perfect your craft, to perfect maybe a plan. And I feel like you can make a lot of progress in doing that. And I feel like you're able to work on a higher level with your finances. I'm seeing that big vision with your finances and making changes in alignment with that big vision. Knight of Swords is your guidance card, Scorpio. Well, I feel like you've got a lot, of, you've got a strong will, you've got a strong, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Drive. I feel like there's a strong drive this month to uh, move projects forward. And this is going to be really helpful to you. So, so get in touch with your drive, get in touch with your will. Um, I feel like Knight of Swords is also guiding you to to be honest and to, you know, um, with yourself and others to really look at the details of the reality of different situations as you're making decisions. So be honest when you're looking at not only the potentials, but also the potential challenges so that you can anticipate and overcome those. Um, and there's a lot of mental energy to help you with, with your goals this month. But so use your mental energy as well and your focus to really um, understand the details of whatever it is you're planning so that you can plan and and um, take that into account into your plan whatever the plan is for a work or creative project or even relationships spirituality the world is coming up for your relationships Scorpio well, I feel like some Scorpios are, are maybe feeling like there's been some heaviness in relationships and you want to pull back and kind of lighten up and shift gears a little in some relationships. Have you been taking on too much? Have you been overstimulated? Are you feeling weighed down by some social interaction? Um, so I feel like the world is, is speaking to how some Scorpios might be feeling like the desire to sort of detach a little and, and um, maybe come out of the underworld and come up for a breath here in the sky with the eagle. Um, I'm going to pull another card. Nine of, yeah, nine of pentacles. So there's a certain amount of like, uh, um, let's say a solitary um, desire here. And this could be helpful to just sort of clear out your energy to do some reflecting and, and taking care of yourself. Have you been overtaking care of other people or have you been ignoring yourself? Or maybe you've just been scattered because you've been around too many people or not the right people. And so this is a card of just helping you to kind of, you know, reset yourself, kind of reconnect with yourself. Um, just take care of numero uno. I'm gonna pull a Stephen Farmer clarifying card for you stars navigation yeah you're looking at the big picture here you're looking at the big picture here and this is the big picture of the world so so in your relationships you might be taking a step back and looking at big picture what do i want how are things going maybe even connecting cosmically connecting cosmically and spiritually and mystically i don't think that's a word in a mystical fashion to your relationships. And this can help you to um, start a whole new chapter of more fulfilling, nurturing relationships. I feel like you can tune into that um, mystical star power that's within you, that's in the stars, that's around us. And it can help you to reset and then move forward um, in a more 
successful, fulfilling way in your relationships. You might be manifesting a relationship through um, your spiritual practice or using that to, to help you to co-create that. Two of swords is coming up in your work and finances. You might be feeling divided. You might be feeling um, like you're unsure of decisions. You have to, some decisions to make, some things to balance. Yeah, and it feels like, again, it's sort of a similar energy to this, this woman, this lady. It's like this desire for clarity, this desire for clarification. There might be a little bit feeling of scatteredness that you're moving out of. And this is a great time to, um, to clarify, you know, brainstorm, make lists, write. Those are all things that can help you um, make some art, you know, make some charts, look at the bigger picture child of the cosmos, the intelligence of the universe is within you. So this is a time of research and reflection and mapping it out and looking at the details. You do have an abundance card here. So I do think you can, you know, create some, some increased income and some increased flow in your finances and work. And I feel like the two of swords is just guiding you to reflect and research um, and to use your mental power to really look at the different options and assess, you know, what the pros and cons are, what you're really called to as you're making decisions. So Scorpio, see that big picture from that eagle's eye perspective. Take care of yourself and connect with the stars as a way to nurture your relationships. Refine your skills, do your due diligence and your research brainstorm and use that intelligence of the universe that lies within you abundance and enhanced relationships are coming to you so scorpio thank you so much for tuning in i look forward to connecting with you next group video or session take care next up we have sagittarius <clears throat> excuse me sagittarius hi sagittarius Good June to you. Let's let's get your reading, Sagittarius. What do my lovely centaurs need to know for the month of June 2023? What does Sagittarius need to know? Well, one one thing I hear just off the bat is healing others and being healed. You're in a position to help yourself to heal. You're in a position to help others to heal. That is one thing I'm picking up, my lovely Sag. All right, pulling some tarot cards for you. Yes. All right, we've got the Emperor, Hanged Man. We've got a lot of uh, major arcana cards for you, my friend. The Emperor, Hanged Man, the Star, and... Ten of Pentacles. So we've got some power. We've got some abundance. We've got some spirituality. All right. So general card, uh, general energy is the Emperor Sagittarius for June 2023. It's like you want to put something on the back burner and yet you want to address it. And I feel like it's with the hangman too. It's with the hangman too. There's sort of a push pull. So I'm feeling with you, Sagittarius, <clears throat> excuse me, part of you wants to move forward with something, but part of you wants to hold yourself back. Um, but, but with that general energy with you and your sign and Jupiter here, I'm tuning in. Um, you have the ability to be very decisive and effective with your planning, your leadership. And I feel like a, a guidance that might be helpful for you that wants to come through is to don't be afraid to, to follow your instincts here. Don't be afraid to, to trust um, what you're thinking about with your plans. The, the the guidance is the hangman and this is about so you know here's your general energy <clears throat> excuse me there's a thunderstorm happening right now and that makes me tired and also um a little bit throaty so <clears throat> excuse me if i keep clearing my throat pardon me 
hangman so emperor is about power the masculine the anima leadership the mind and your analytical mind and, and power in planning power in um the hierarchy taking external action so the hangman is your guidance card and i feel like the hangman is guiding you sagittarius to yes slow down contemplate think before you take your action and also there's maybe more than meets the eye to some situations so i think you have some really good ideas like part of you wants to move forward with something part of you has some ideas about how to help a situation um but there's some reservations that you're having and i feel like the hangman is guiding you to um the hangman is always guiding us to let go see things from a new perspective see things from the upside down to look at something in an unexpected way. And what do I need to let go of in order to move to the next level? This is a portal card. So you're, you have a portal opportunity to move through a gateway, through a portal to another dimension, an expanded dimension. And I feel like Sagittarius, you can't be shy when you do this. You need to be pretty confident in order to do this. Um, but Hangman is helping you to let go of that ego confidence and help you understand a heart confidence, help you understand a soul confidence when you're really um, letting go of maybe some egoic um, shoulds or concerns or um, attachments and really following what feels right in your gut, in your heart, in your in your higher self nine of wands i pulled a clarifying card so there may be some taking a step back in order to assess the situation reflect um you might be in a little bit of a holding pattern temporarily and this could be helpful to you before you take action but i feel like it's not a bad idea to take action it's just you need to sort of get your ducks in a row before you do you need to really tune in to um, the truth of the situation, of how you feel, um, you know, letting go of some perfection, stars coming up in your relationships, Sagittarius. And I, and I did feel like you have the opportunity to be a healing presence in others' lives and to do some healing yourself on multiple levels this month. It could be physical actually for a lot of Sagittarians. So the star I feel like is guiding you Sagittarius I'm hearing be your own best friend. I'm hear, hearing be the, be the light that you want to see in the world. There's a really famous quote, quote that I'm like butchering right now that's something like that. Um, be the light in the world you want to see. So is that by Gandhi? All right, I'm just apologizing. I'm probably butchering all sorts of quotes, but, but that's coming to me right now. That's a message that wants to come through Sagittarius is, um, in your relationships to shine your light and you don't mean, need to be everybody's hero or heroine. You don't need to be the savior, um, but be, just being your own best self can be really helpful in your relationships right now. So letting yourself shine. And I'm going to pull a clarifying card for relationships with that. I think some Sagittarians are moving forward in your in your life in ways that some people don't understand. You might be opening up spiritually and other people might not understand. You might be growing in your awareness. Yeah, here, owl intuition. Intuition is really important for you this month, Sagittarius. You might be opening up in some intuition and it might be that not everybody around you is understanding or that you can share that with. So just be aware that that's happening. There's a lot of just... Um, openings and awakenings and um, transformations that are happening in humanity right now. So if that's you, have fun going on this ride with us. <laughs> it's never dull. Um, got the owl coming to you, helping you to clarify your intuition, to trust it. I think you can do some intuitive healing this month, you can help others heal with your intuition. You can heal yourself intuitively. And then in your career, oh my gosh, career finances, I pulled the 10 of pentacles. That wanted to come out. 
this is like major abundance opportunities. So when I tune into the 10 of Pentacles for you, Sagittarius, I feel like you're, you're moving towards something you've, you've been moving toward. There's momentum. You, you've started something and there's a continuation of moving towards that. And the 10 of Pentacles um, is saying your dreams are coming true. They can come true. They will come true. Um, and I feel like you've got a lot of angels on your side. I feel like Raphael is with the Sagittarians this month, June for sure, angel of healing. But I also feel like you have um, some other abundance angels around you. Um, maybe Zadkiel, Ariel, pulling a starseed car, empathic starseed, energetic sovereignty, absorbing what absorbing what's not yours. So your intuition is heightened, Sagittarius, you might be empathically, and this might have to do with the hesitancy to move forward with something that you need to kind of sort out. Are you dealing with some boundary issues personally, professionally? Are you absorbing other people's energy? Do you need to clear your own energy um, and connect with your own energy, <clears throat> excuse me, your own identity? But I feel like you do have opportunities in your career this month. And it's really, you know, building on what you've already started, it feels like. And it feels like you have the opportunity to take the lead on something, Sagittarius. Um, I think you're going to feel obstacles and also the opportunity and more clarity and intuitive guidance about how to overcome obstacles in your um, work career finances. I just want to pull a couple more clarifying cards for that. Yeah, another intuition card. You've got High Priestess, incredibly intuitive this month. Your intuition is on fire if you want it to be, if you lean into it, Sagittarius. Knight of Wands, Six of um, Swords. This is what I'm pulling for clarification with your work finance. So you have opportunities for things to get better, things to move up. Um, you might have uh, opportunity for change in your career. And I'm feeling like, you know, repeated message is what do I need to let go of in order to move on to the next level and making sure that I'm not just paying attention to, you know, my analytical mind, but also that intuitive mind. Yes. Yeah. And I feel like your spirituality is highlighted the star. It's a very spiritual, intuitive month. And you might see that show up in your relationship, Sagittarius. Um, so don't be afraid to be a leader, but make sure that you're not over giving or that you're not doing some, you know, people pleasing or controlling and um, over absorbing other people's energy. Make sure you're really, you know, tuning into your own energy and clearing your energy and having some healthy boundaries. And um, I also pulled a card for a partnership for your career. So excuse me for your relationship. So maybe there was a Freudian or uh transpersonal slip, you might have some partnership opportunities in your career, but you also might also have some partnership um, emphasis here in your relationships. And it just feels like the people around you might not be quite in sync with you in some way this month. Um, Earth, learning how to be human in the world, but not of it. So it might be a little bit like you're, you're feeling like a little bit on a different vibration than the people around you. And yet there's an opportunity for um, healing there, helping others, helping yourself. So how to deal with the maybe um, difference in vibration, learning how to be human in the world, but not of it. So don't take it personally. Don't internalize that and um, keep it light. Keep it, you know, don't take things so seriously um, and use your spiritual intuition and spiritual practice to help enhance your relationships this month. You could have some really beautiful spiritual experiences in your relationships. Those were the messages I'm getting for you, Sagittarius. Pay attention to your intuition. Um, let go of what needs to be let go of. Take a beat and reflect. And yeah, you can have some, some major success and um, really cool spiritual <clears throat> things happening in your relationships as well. So thank you, Sagittarius. I hope you have a lovely 
June. I'll see you next group video or session. Take care. Hi, Capricorn. Hello, my beautiful enchanted goats. My enchanted earthly Capricorns tuning into you. What does Capricorn need to know for June 2023? I feel like Capricorn, you do have, it feels like you've, you've sort of shifted gears and a lot of Capricorns just taking a step back. It feels like you have the opportunity to relax a little bit, um, be nurturing more to yourself receive more nurturing, nurturing more to others, a little bit of a theme of nurturing. So what does Capricorn need to know for June 2023? And I feel like you have the opportunity to achieve a goal, to catch something you wanted to catch for a while. Okay. <clears throat> We've got the Hermit Strength, Five of Swords, don't worry, I'll pull some clarifying cards and three of swords. So yes, Capricorn, okay. June, 2023, Hermit is your general energy card. I feel like there, there's another push-pull here. Part of you wants to move things forward. Part of you wants to pull back. It's really helpful to use your spiritual practice to slow down and connect and clarify right now. So taking some time to be like the hermit, tune in, slow down, sort of disconnect from the world and connect with yourself, meditation, time in nature, dream work, going to a spiritual service, any kind of spiritual practice can be really helpful for you right now, Capricorn. And it feels like just a natural slowdown that's available to you in June to help you. Um, have you been overworking? June is a time when you're able to slow down and kind of reset and connect with yourself and, and spirit. Strength is your guidance card, Capricorn. I see you actually really assessing relationships right now. I see you really taking a look at relationships and um, understanding the dynamics underneath more. There's opportunities for healing. There's opportunities for you to connect more with your confidence. Um, there might be some confusing situations or situations you, you would like clarity on in your relationships. I think you will be able to get more of that this month. And, you know, make sure with responsibility that you're not overtaking responsibility for others. And that might be part of what helps you this month. There might be some endings. There might be some releasing that's happening in June for you, Capricorn. But I feel like it is a good time to take stock of something. This could be professional too. I'm definitely feeling personal. Taking stock of like what's happening in my romantic and my family and my platonic friendships um called inner earth you'll survive this new solutions and beginnings for your star seed card so there there is it's a feeling of maybe some endings coming up but in a good way because you're letting go of what's no longer helpful in your life i feel like that is happening collectively right now it's constantly happening co collectively right now in the past few years right but i do feel like <clears throat> excuse me, that is happening with you um, and it's helping you to heal and grow. So letting go, maybe ending one chapter and opening yourself to new solutions and beginnings. Tobacco, reciprocity, there's your Stephen Farmer um, Spirit of Nature Oracle card. Reciprocity, yeah, tobacco, you know, it's a social a social ritual in some indigenous Native American traditions to smoke the tobacco. And so, you know, I'm sensing here there is an emphasis on relationships and maybe really assessing taking stock. Are things reciprocal? Here's your relationship card, Five of Swords. This is a card of things aren't so reciprocal. This is a card of um, things are a little bit touch and go with the group, with, with relationships with others. And this is really helpful because it can help you to assess, um, you know, what's helpful as far as your role goes in any sort of irritating um, dynamics relationship wise. 
and to take measures to let that go because you are creating your reality. Um, you know, it's in it, one way, don't take things personally because we're all creating our reality. But in another way, are you attracting to you or feeding um, relationships that aren't reciprocal, that aren't nurturing for you? Big picture thinking, Pleiades energy, visionary, inspired ideas. See the big picture here. See the big picture. I see you really doing some reflecting and some intuitive, spiritual, um, expansive reflecting on your relationships, on life, maybe in general, and seeing the big picture. You get these visionary ideas. The Pleiadian star beings are with you. I feel like Archangel Jophiel is actually with you as well. And she is um, helpful with creating a space that is really, <clears throat> excuse me, um, aligned with your spirit. And also I feel like she's helping you to um, tune in to these higher vibrational thoughts and higher vibrational um, energies. And this can help you as you're making decisions about who you want to let near you, my friends. We pulled three of swords for your uh, career and finances. Again, you know, it's it's endings. It's not taking others, other people's stuff personally. Also pulled the eight of pentacles for you, for your career. I'll pull another Stephen Farmer card for you. So with career finances, Capricorn, you're taking the lead in some stuff. Oh, weird. Capricorn taking the lead. Yes. You're taking the lead on some stuff with your career finances. Star navigation. Okay. Yeah. You're doing some really big picture thinking here. I think you can tune into some star energy to help you in your uh, finances and career, some spiritual cosmic energy. And I feel like you might be coming up with some plans for how to do something, but you don't have all the details yet and that's okay. Um, and in your, in your work career finances, Capricorn, take the lead on something and don't worry if other people can't keep up. Um, trust, trust your intuition, trust your, your vision here. Cause you are a visionary this month, Capricorn, you're going to be able to move forward with the project. And I feel like there might be some people around you who maybe you're feeling a lack of support or a lack of understanding in some way. Um, you're not on the same page with someone perhaps. Um, that's okay. Um, you don't need to please everybody. Move forward. You have a great vision. And I, I'm hearing spirits say, um, you can follow through on a project without having someone's approval um, and it can be successful. <clears throat> so Capricorn, assess those relationships. Let go of of anything lower vibrational, forgiveness, detachments, um, assessing, you know, perhaps what, what you wanna keep going in your relationships and what you want to shift. It's a great time to slow down, just, you know, chill out, do some spiritual reflecting and healing and, uh, and I do feel like you can make for make progress moving forward. Um, trust trusting your own judgment here, and you have some you know abundance and and healing offered to you this month. So, Capricorn, thank you so much for tuning in, my friend. I hope to see you next group video or session. Take care. Hello, Aquarius. Aquarius, it's lovely to see you. Thank you for tuning in. What does Aquarius need to know? What do my water bearing friends, water bearers, what does Aquarius need to know for June 2023? Well, I feel like you are being noticed, Aquarius. People are noticing you. You're catching the eye of some people. And this could be romantic. This could be just attention in general. Um, but I feel like people are noticing you more. It's the first thing I get. Queen of Cups, Hero Font, Seven of Pentacles, and Four of Cups. So Aquarius, General Energy, Queen of Cups. Yes. So Aquarius, um, 
feels like it's just a more easygoing vibe. You're moving away from maybe some difficult times and things you're just flowing with things. Things are flowing with you or to you. Um, it feels like a lot of Aquarians are just moving into a more mellow kind of, um, vibrational, energetic, emotional space. Hero font is your guidance card for June Aquarius. I feel like, and this is a repeated message, Aquarius, you have some ideas about what you want to do. And instead of waiting for validation, go ahead and continue to make your plans and make movement forward towards your plan. So if you've been over waiting, yeah, and here's justice. Um, I think maybe some of you Aquarians have been balancing other people's perspective with your perspective, maybe waiting for other people to make decisions. But I feel like justice and Hierophant are guiding you to trust your own vision with something, move forward with it. Even if you don't think other people are on the same page, you will have results here and you don't need the validation or the um, approval that you think you need. And that's come up with another sign as well. The seas of Mintaka, seeing potential, bringing unconsciousness to light. So go ahead and bring it to light. You know, if you don't feel like you have other people um, giving you the go ahead, just continue to move forward with some ideas you have because they're really good ideas. And I feel like they're going to be successful. Seven of Pentacles is coming up in your love life and relationships. Could be relationships that are romantic, but family or friendship or any kind of relationship, your relationship sector, seven of pentacles. Well, I think some Aquarians are, are feeling some movement in your relationships, but you're not quite sure maybe how to move forward. Like things are happening. Some of you are sort of just going through the motions. Some of you might be just feeling like, hmm, I want something to change, but I'm not sure exactly what. Um, the world. Yeah. So you might be in a phase where you're, I feel like a lot of us are in this phase right now. We're feeling like we're maybe not ourselves or something feels weird with the vibe. And it feels like maybe you're going through a vibrational upgrade or shift and you're maybe sensing that there is wanting to be in your relationships, a shift. This is a card of, um, transitions of endings and beginnings. It's also worlds opening up. So you have the opportunity for worlds to open up in your relationships. Um, and it may be, you know, doing some assessing and asking yourself what you really want and making changes moving forward in June. Child of the cosmos, the intelligence of the universe is with you. So you might have some expansive experiences in your relationships as well um, as you're kind of assessing what change do I need to make? You don't need to make all the changes at once, but you might sense that there's some shifts you want to make in your relationships. Oak tree ancestors. Yeah. So you've got some maybe past energy, some, some karma from the past, some energy from the past, some ancestors from the past that you're assessing. You're also looking to the future. What do I want to um, create here and continue, um, how can I be my best self? How do the people around me, um, reflect that or not? So tower into a pentacle. So you, there might be some changes in your relationships or some opportunities for changes. You also might have a lot of insight and big, um, cosmic intelligence about your relationships this month Aquarius but it might be you know you're you're assessing how could you bring your relationships into better balance or how could you make changes um, to bring them more into alignment with your soul your work in finance we've got the four of cups I feel like there's a certain amount of just waiting and, and watching with you. It feels like opportunities are coming to you, but you're assessing whether you want to take them or not. Emperor's card came out. 
So you might have opportunities. That doesn't mean you have to take them. Empress card came out for you, Aquarius. This is a flow. It's just a flow of abundance. It's a flow of opportunities. Um, it's a flow of pleasure and nurturing. So you don't have to do that much to get the energy going this month, I feel like, Aquarius. It's more like asking yourself, what do I really want? And am I really in alignment with how things are moving forward? And if not, what changes do I need to make? King of Wands. So you might need to, you know, be decisive, make some changes, step up um, as a leader. But it feels like it's flowing, though. It doesn't feel like it involves, um, you know, the need for a lot of force and strain. But, but I do feel like... Um, you're able to move something to the next level, maybe return to harmony easily. Six of cups, an easy return to harmony um, in your work and finances. It, it's like you don't have to work for it. It just flows. Um, so pay attention to what's happening and listening, Dolphin. So do some listening. Do some, you know, get into a receptive state where you're um, just listening and and receiving what's happening is which is really a repetition of the queen of cups you, know, you can be very intuitive and um insightful this month as you're making decisions moving forward but i do think you could have a return to balance in your finances and work um as well as you know some opportunities unfolding so take this time to assess what's happening tune in and make decisions moving forward how you might want to make changes or not if you have some visions and ideas pay attention to those take those seriously even if you're not getting the validation that they are um legit let this be your validation they're legit you have some good ideas pay attention to those and move forward with your creative ideas aquarius they are um quite magical. Thank you so much for tuning in, my friend. I'll see you Aquarius next group video or session. Take care. Hello, Pisces. Thank you for tuning in, Pisces. Tuning into your energy for June. What does Pisces need to know? Well, I, I see some Pisces um having some kind of interaction with a larger institution or larger agency and um having the opportunity to get involved with a larger organization this month in some way shape or form and i feel like you know there there might be a little bit of a i want to work no i want to play dichotomy with with some Pisces. Um, some Pisces I'm feeling actually are a little bit restless perhaps and want to just get out and get going and you know where's the action. Um, but but there's also this feeling of I just want to hang out and chill out and vibe. I just want to vibe. Um, all right, so we'll we'll explore this further. What does Pisces need to know? Oh, we've got the Three of Cups, the Empress, Page of Pentacles, and the Sun. So yeah, here's this. I kind of want to, like, I kind of want to work, but I kind of want to play. And um, the vibe around you of a desire to slow down and have fun and just be. Um, and that's important for Pisces. So yeah, that June energy for you, Pisces. I feel like this is also guiding you. Allow other people to help you, Pisces. Be receptive. Don't try and do everything yourself. Be open to receiving some support because that can be really powerful for you this month. The Empress is your guidance card, Pisces. What a Piscean card, the Empress, right? I feel like it's really important to slow down and be the Empress. If you've been overdoing it in some way, shape or form, um, 
definitely this is your sign. You need to make sure you're slowing down and taking care of yourself. You know, the Empress is receiving nurturing and pleasure and she's connected with nature and her body and the earth and she's having fun. And that's a kind of a repeated um, energy with the three of cups. So making sure you are slowing down and having fun and being playful and um, connecting with your senses. And you need to feel grounded this month in order to create all these beautiful things that you want to create. Um, there's also, I'm pulling the I'm sorry card, defenselessness, writing past wrongs, uprooting. So you have the opportunity maybe to um, reconcile or come to some more harmony with a relationship. Maybe it's forgiving yourself. Maybe it's forgiving someone else. Ace of swords. Yeah. So you're overcoming some stuff here. This is a brilliant idea, Pisces. You're you're getting on top again. You're able to move through some um, difficulties and have some success here. And and remember not to focus on past failures or past things that learning opportunities. They're not failures. They're learning opportunities. To focus on your amazing gifts and your amazing successes and this can help with um creating those victories in your life but you know you might also have the opportunity to let go of some emotional stuff with um forgiving and doing some some relationship negotiation mountain intention your intention is really important this month you have a very strong mental energy your intention can create your intention can move mountains it can. Page of Pentacles is your relationship card. I see. There might be something from the past that comes up that you, you have the opportunity to resolve. There might be something in relationships. Um, you know, you don't want to be stuck in the past. So one way to do that is face what's What's sort of coming up for me or us and address it? How can I release it? You know, maybe I need to speak my truth. Maybe I need to forgive. Maybe I need to, you know, let something go. Yeah, look at this. You can't make this up. Six of uh, cups. This is the relationship reconciliation card. The king of wands. That could be you. That could be someone in your life. Excuse me, I dropped a card. What card wants to come out for you, Pisces? Ooh, hanged man. So... This is the opportunity to come back to some harmony in your relationships and um, and for you to let go of the past, make peace with it, maybe even connect with it in a really positive way, Pisces. And don't allow the past or other people to over-influence you. You got to tune into that sword, tune into your own identity and your own um center you know we've got some confidence cards coming up so make sure that you're not over absorbing other people's energies or being over influenced by others the sun is coming up with your uh career and finances nice you've got the you've got the miracle card over here for your career and finances pisces people see you as as someone who's stronger than you think you might be not understanding how much people admire you and the sun is guiding you to remember you are talented people actually recognize that more than you think and do you recognize it and i feel like and this is a repeated message coming through with some other signs you need to just trust your instincts and trust your your skills and and go for it and trust your ideas and and act on them um don't second guess yourself so much if you're if you're second guessing yourself three of pentacles you've got some abundance coming through don't forget to receive help and support another three so another um, guidance for you to to tune into that group energy receive receive help and support but i feel like in your career and finances pisces um you can be really decisive you can be the one making some decisions this month um you have some really good ideas. And as you're more confident, you can actually help the group. Um, and I feel like it's it, this is also a confidence card. Find a way to not be so shy if you've been shy or find a way to be more confident and push your energy forward um, with work. 
present your ideas, you know, take your ideas seriously, follow through on them. Um, allow yourself to be the center of attention. You can have a lot of success this month and breakthroughs as you're doing that. Desert thirst, what nurtures you? I think this is a really important um, question this month. It's kind of going along with the Empress, making sure to nurture yourself. Pull a star seed card. This one wants to come out. The cosmic heart, devotion, potency. Make your life a moving prayer. I love that. Make your life a moving prayer. So there's some heart energy coming out. Um, I think you could have some beautiful experiences in your relationships this month that are um, helping you to regain a sense of harmony and maybe um, balance again, but also feeling your own worth and, and um, feeling confident again with others. So don't forget to receive, pay attention to your ideas. They're really good ideas. Um, be sure to ground yourself, let go of any unhelpful behaviors where maybe you're over influenced by others. There's an opportunity for forgiveness and reconciliation, um, resolving something from the past, letting something go. Your career and finances are on fire. You have a lot of opportunities to make, um, create abundance and success here. Be confident, trust your ideas, trust your instincts, uh, follow through with them. And, you know, amazing, amazing um, success and abundance could happen here. So thank you so much, Pisces, for tuning in. I hope you have a beautiful, blessed June. Thank you, everyone, for tuning into this video. It was so much fun for me to make. And I hope to see you all next group video or session. Check out my website, Creative Psyche Studio, to see the groups I'm doing, multidimensional manifesting, and new dream groups happening. I need to update my website, I'm realizing. Um, but more, more will be planned in the, in the summer and fall, so I'm excited about that. So thank you for connecting with me. I'll see you soon. Take care.